there's three main ways to make money at Dollar Tree, and there it's the store right there. And depending on how much money you have, uh, your interests, your hobbies, it's going to change depending on who you are. So we're going to go over what those are because I think for everyone it makes sense. I'm going in right now to do one of these three things. The first thing is work there. Dollar Tree, it's a growing company. I invest in them. I think that if you believe what I believe, that the economy is going to shit, uh, things that help people save money and help them do things in their own terms are going to be the big, the big winners during a recession. So Dollar Tree, AutoZone, Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that. Uh, and they're going to be expanding. Dollar Trees are expanding. So you can work there if you don't have any money and you have time. What you can also do is sell things from there. So what I'm doing right now is going in partially to buy things from Dollar Tree. DVDs. I have a DVD list, as a lot of you know. Uh, it has the most profitable or the best DVDs there. And you can sell them on Amazon. And if you watch the video about using ChristianBook.com to sell these Dollar Tree DVDs, you can get and get on Amazon for like 20 or 30 bucks. It's really cheap. So go in there, buy the DVDs. The list is like 25 bucks a month. If you live within driving distance of four or five Dollar Trees, I think it probably makes sense because some of these DVDs sell for like five, 10 bucks profit. So you make 20 bucks per trip, you go to five, and that's like on the low end, on the very low end. I'm going in to buy as many as I can. Sometimes I buy a hundred, sometimes I buy, you know, five or 10. The third way is what I have this camera right here for, and that's making content about Dollar Trees. I have made tons of videos about Dollar Trees. And what I've noticed is that people just like seeing what's in stock. I've made a second, well, it's like my eighth channel at this point. I have another channel on YouTube that you can subscribe to. I'll put in the links below in the comments called Dollar Store Treasure Hunter. All I'm doing is just filming what's in this Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna talk about it on YouTube. We're gonna say, oh, here's the, here's the frozen goods. They've got eat home style potatoes. People like to know what frozen foods there are. It's kind of a novelty. We have shrimp egg rolls, lobster egg rolls, chicken egg rolls, vegetable egg rolls. And I'm just gonna be chopping up these videos into short SEO, that stands for search engine optimization friendly videos on YouTube. And people are gonna watch that. Uh, I know maybe it's not your thing, but that just goes to show you how many different varieties of content there can be on YouTube. If people go and shop somewhere, they're probably curious what's available in the store. Same goes for here, that people want to know uh, what, what snacks can I get? Maybe I'm going to a movie and I want to get the best snacks I can sneak into the theater so I'm not paying 25 bucks for a bucket of popcorn and six Tic Tacs. You know, people want to know what the deals are. And even sometimes there are special things like right here, spicy ginger pop, blue raspberry craft soda. Like, that's cool. People like that. They want to know what's here. And so just by making this content available, I'm able to monetize my YouTube channel. I'm able to buy DVDs to sell. And I mean, I don't work here, but I invest in Dollar Tree. And that's kind of the same thing. I've made videos with literally millions of views just talking about this stuff. Dollar Tree soap. It changes. They have different seasonal scents. What do they have now? Looks like they've got beach alternative, charcoal and citrus big charcoal push here. Super degrees are not really a scent. But then like down here, I mean, come on, people want to know what's available because sometimes these soaps sell for like $10. And even if I'm not making a retail arbitrage video, I'm still showing what's available. And if someone really loves, for example, vinegar and lime, Ajax, then they'll find value in that video. Treasure hunter. And I'm gonna go in with this camera right here and just show what they have show what's in stock, what's available, talk about the good deals, talk about what I think sells for more online, just basic stuff. We're gonna chop it up and make tons of content on that channel. Monetize that channel, make money just for shopping. So depending on what your interests are, if you want to do retail arbitrage, if you want to just work a job because you have no money and you can just trade your time for cash, or if you want to be a bit more creative, you don't like reselling, it's not your thing. You can make content about not just Dollar Tree, Lowe's, AutoZone. You can do really anything that people have an interest in. And if you can track these prevailing winds of what's going on in the economy, what sectors are growing, what are shrinking, you can be ahead of the curve and make really good content that people care about and just put it on YouTube for free. Get paid from ads, do sponsorships, and then suddenly you found a way to make money in three different ways from that Dollar Tree right there. There's a lot to talk about.
one take. Uh, Blake here, thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you guys later.